Hey, good morning guys, this is Sergey, and you're watching how we heat our houses in a Soviet or ex-Soviet countryside. Today my mom decided to fire up her wood burning stove. And this is how she set up her wood. start the fire. So she has this fire starting little small pieces of wood that she dips into the diesel fuel and she lays them under there to fire up the main wood. Alright, so this is the general view. This is where wood goes. This is usually a storage area. Some people store wood there. And below there's a storage. You can put more wood to dry up. Of course to the ceiling. Chimney goes up above the roof. Also right here is like a mini stove. So this mini stove, they call it grubka, and sometimes they call it lijanka. So if you don't want to fire up the main wood burning stove, you can just fire up this guy. And it's called lijanka because you can lay on the top of it, so you kind of heat up smaller area. So in the winter my mom burns wood, she rotates, she burns in a big wooden stove one day and Grubka another day. So here is the top part of the main wood burning stove, Pechka we call it. Some people call it the Russian style stove, Pech or Pechka. So this is a sleeping area. So during the winter that's where people sleep because the rest of the houses they're quite poorly isolated so they turn really cold. So this is the best spot to sleep. Bricks are hot. It's all built out of brick. So bricks collect the heat from burning wood and then slowly release it. It's really comfortable to sleep. Except it's pretty firm because it's hard surface. And there's no springs. And of course up here people use it for storage because it's all dry and warm. For example my mom uses keeps her salt here. It's actually interesting, this is designed from way back Soviet Union, I remember, same package during the USSR, rock salt, 1.5 kilos, now the price is around 7 grivnas, during Soviet Union I believe it was 7 kopecks. Also, there's a small door here, this is for the access to collect ashes that fall off the chimney so you don't want to keep it open when fire is going because smoke will escape and this is uh, for cleaning purposes I believe don't forget the word I'm gonna ask my mom what that's called okay so there's access door and it's access spot called Yushka and what's in there when you open up there's the area you can put the lid and it's actually for temperature control. So in the winter, you don't want the heat to escape through the open chimney. So after your wood all burned up or you have only embers, and this is where the danger is, a lot of people die from CO2 poisoning. You can actually put the lid and block the chimney access. That way all the heat will go into house, but if your war, uh, wood is not completely burnt, it will create CO2 and it can poison you to death. So as you see right now my mom put the brick and she's gonna 
fry some carrots and onions for her dish. Probably she's making another bowl of soup. So this is how she Very just, you don't want to get too close. I've got to get out of the way now. Mm -hmm. Да, взял. Видео делаю. So here we got tools of trade. This is right here. Kacherga. This is what you move the ashes with. L-shaped. Of course, it's a long on a long stick, and then you got different sizes. We could come up with a name. There's a ragach or vili, so that's where you pick up your pots to put them in the stove. And now you're looking at the attic part. So this is the brick and a while back I think they demolished the top part it was also brick and they installed the metal pipe that goes to the roof and outside. So this thing called Lezhen and it's, it's oven come from here goes through here and up. I'm not sure why oh, I think maybe so the water and it doesn't drip straight into the stove. So this is how the attic part looks right here. And this roof needs to be replaced. But it's kind of a ridiculous situation. We purchased this house with everything out buildings for $2,000. Ada wants $2,000 to replace the roof, which is kind of ridiculous. And there's the smoke coming out of the end of the chimney. As I said, they replaced and put the more modern metal tip. And that's the original. There's another small lijanka my mom has. She used it only in the winter to keep second room warm. That one's still break, and you see it's heavily patched. I'm not sure if you can see it against shade. So that's the usual strong smell of wood burning stoves here in the village in the morning especially in the winter and of course the color smoke depends what wood you burn and how dry it is if you have a lot of tar they burn a lot of pine wood which is actually a big no-no in the wood burning stoves because they leave a lot of sod i believe the word is in the chimneys but most of our woods around here are pine so that's what most people use for burning his pine because it burns really hot, has a lot of tar. I think it's the word tar. That sticky substance that burns really good. So this is how we heat the houses here in Ukraine and many areas of Russia. Brick wooden stoves. Here you kind of see a similar setup with our neighbor's house. They got metal roof and two wood burning stoves there. So usually each room needs a wood burner to keep it warm because I said these houses weren't isolated or all insulated at all. So you need to burn a lot of wood and you need to have a lot of wood to stay warm in the winter. Some villages they had natural gas but our village doesn't have a natural gas available, that's, that's the only option is to heat up with the wood. Or you can try to heat with electrical heaters, then then it'll be really, really expensive. Sounds of the <laughs> Ukrainian village. Chicken is laying an egg, so she's screaming, and the rooster is warning everyone he owns that territory. So this amount of wood, according to my mom, is enough to heat for almost two winters. And actually that's one of our jobs while we're here, we chop a lot of wood. She buys a truckload of cut wood that needs to be split. So that's what we do every day. 
split wood for her and some of those chunks are too big because of the nuts so they go in a separate pile she burns them separately because the normal size don't fit in those small Lejanka type heating stoves and as I said it does a dual purpose it heats the house and you cook food there also people since you don't have running water and since you don't have running water you don't have running hot water uh, another trick people have big cast iron chugun which is means like a pot and they heat, put the water pull pull put sorry my english is kind of getting bad while i speak russian all the time so you fill it with water put it inside of the wood burning stove after you're done burning so it doesn't boil and it stays hot all day and just use hot water while you need it you just need to pull it out then refill and that's how you stay and uh, keep the hot water supply if you burn wood burning stove of course if you like in the summer if it's really hot days you don't want to burn that wood because your rooms will be super hot then uh, you need to heat up water some other way so that's my first report from our village i hope you enjoyed this video i'll talk to you later До свидания. goodbye And if you love my channel and would like to show your support, please click on the link below this video and become the patron of the Oshanka Show. For as little as one dollar, you can help us grow and create the new interesting videos about the life in Soviet Union.